24 on the No Child Left Behind Act. Hillary Clinton voted for the final version of the bill in 2001, while Senator Sanders voted against the final version of the bill in 2001. Both of their current positions have evolved to where Bernie Sanders has stayed the same, but Hillary Clinton has realized the huge mistake of the act. By the way, the No Child Left Behind Act set a precedent of standardizing tests, so if a school performed poorly on a standardized test, they would receive funding that reflects poor performance, which is less funding. The truth is, when you have a school that's underperforming, as far as the rest of the fucking schools that it's being compared to, the answer is to fucking look at that school, find out what deficits are causing the fucking situation, and then fixing those deficits. A lot of times, it might just be income inequality. So, I will grant that currently both candidates are on the same page which is awesome but the no child left behind act ended up being a disaster for fucking america because it basically all those poor schools who didn't have the resources to fucking take care of their fucking students initially they got hit with these so they couldn't take care of their kids initially then they were expected to perform to standard and they had no additional resources to help perform the standards. The thing is, teachers are kind of fucked in this country, but that's not really the question. Once again, the current party, or both candidates, have taken a platform I agree with, which is awesome. I always like it when my possible candidates agree. Even if one of them had to change previously, it happens. People learn. Twenty-five. Do you support marriage equality for gay and lesbian couples? I personally do, because honestly, it's a societal institution which is fucking fueled by tax benefits. So, Bernie Sanders voted against the Defense of Marriage Act while in the House of Representatives in 96. Currently, he supports gay marriage. Good for him. Hillary. When she was the first lady, she stood for the Defense of Marriage Act, which was opposed to the equal rights of people who are just like me, but have different tastes sexually, being discriminated against, like, on a legal basis. Currently, she's realized, and she did that before fucking this election, she did it in 2013, but she realized, hey, gay people and lesbians are just like me. They're human fucking beings. They just have a different sexual persuasion. My personal take is I've jerked off to damn near every fucking genre of porn. I can be turned on by damn near anything. I'm human. Okay, there are things that are less arousing than others, but, you know, in general, I've been open-minded for my fapping material. The thing is, historically, Hillary Clinton was against it, and she evolved, and she fucking became for it, which is fantastic. I'm pretty happy that she evolved on the issue. Bernie Sanders, fucking right there, human being all along. Fucking, hey, if you're a dude and you like cock, yeah, if you fucking... the Cock loves you back, you should fucking have the same tax rights as everybody fucking else. Fucking Hillary Clinton fucking historically. Ah, oh, if you're a f Maybe I should try my voices. Well, if you're a guy who likes cock, well, yeah, you can go ahead and like cock, but fuck you, you're not gonna get the marriage benefits if you love that cock. And if your loved cock was a veteran, well, guess what? He, you might be able to not be able to see him because, uh, you're gay. So, since you can't be listed as a significant other, fuck you. 
and the reason she evolved is, I'm assuming, is because she realized, oh my god, they're human beings. And people fall in love with whoever the fuck they fall in love with. They're attracted to physically to whoever the fuck they're attracted to. That's more nature. That has far less to do with nurture than anything else. C'est la vie. Anyway, the current candidates both support marriage equality between men, women, men, men, women, women. And to me, that's fucking fantastic. I like them both now, currently. Twenty-six. Do I believe that women should have a legal right to equal pay for equal work? Oh, this is a no-brainer. Both Bernie and Hillary Clinton agree on this issue. Fucking... Yeah. I even made a... I went on a video. I titled it A Rant on Gender Equality in America in which I brought up the fucking gender pay gap in, Amer in America as assessed by you know, the people from the UN who are supposed to assess it on a human rights fucking scale. Anyway, of course, in that fucking video, I got a reply comment about, well, with regards to the pay gap, what about the more physically demanding dangerous jobs? And, uh, what about the temp disparity? Okay, Tips shouldn't be a factor at all. You should fucking get paid for the fucking job you do. You shouldn't be fucking forced to rely on the fucking charity of fucking whoever the fuck is your customer to fucking make ends meet. That's a bullshit argument. Yes, female waitresses make more than male waiters. As far as tips go, on average, I'm sure. I don't have any statistics to back this up, but as far as what my fucking... Mine says, when I think about it, I'm like, yeah, that's probably how it works. If someone has data to suggest otherwise, feel free to provide it. I am not contrary to fucking evidence. As far as physically demanding jobs and more physically dangerous jobs, yeah, men may do those more often and be may, be, may be more physically fit to do those. Equal pay for... Here's the fucking key word! equal work like if a woman can't physically do the job and yes there are physiological differences between men and women women can be some pretty badass motherfuckers but there are differences not all women are going to be those badass motherfuckers not all men are going to be anything remotely manly for example myself don't know shit about mechanics apparently that makes me less of a man Awesome. Don't give a fuck. But, so, yes, both of the candidates and I are on the same page on this issue. If you're doing the same damn job, and I basically replied, what about the fucking jobs which are exactly the same, like in the professional field, lawyers, all that good shit, where men and women perform exactly the same, because it's a job that requires mental acuity, and not so much grrr, just the raw physical differences between the genders. Guess what? They perform the fucking same generally. So yeah, they should get equal pay in those jobs. They should get equal pay in the other jobs too. Like if a woman can perform the same fucking job as a man in any fucking standard, she gets the same pay. If a man can fucking perform the same fucking standard as any woman in say childbearing fucking clauses and shit, Good for him, he gets the same pay. Like, this is one of the things that I didn't even bring up in my response to the guy who fucking re replied to my video, fucking... Like, there are a lot more women in fields like nursing, and fucking childcare, and teaching, than there are men. Like, I'm not sure if this difference is statistically significant. I would have to find data for that, and if we're being honest, I'm too fucking lazy for that. So if somebody wants to provide data and fact check me on that, go for it. Don't mind. But yes, I'm happy that both candidates on this issue are going to take a positive stance towards fucking equality between the fucking half of the population that seems to get fucked over in this country. Anyway... Here comes the recap of the final three. 
of this series of 26. So close to the end of This Is Lie Psycho, once again signing off. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful evening.